The Mil V-7 was an experimental Soviet helicopter developed in the late 1950s by Mikhail Mills Design Bureau, OKB Mill. It was the first and only helicopter in the world to use turbojet engines mounted at the tips of the rotor blades, eliminating the need for a conventional mechanical transmission. The project aimed to simplify rotorcraft design, reduce structural weight, and improve lifting efficiency, especially for very heavy helicopters. Design began after the Mi-6 program, when Soviet engineers explored methods to increase helicopter payload capacity. A jet-powered rotor eliminated torque reaction, meaning no tail rotor was theoretically needed. The V-7 featured a streamlined, all-metal, semi-monocoque fuselage, three side doors, and space for a pilot and either three passengers or a stretcher and medic. It used a two-blade rotor system with AI-7 turbojet engines, 70 kg force thrust each, mounted at the tips. These engines, created by Oleksandr Gorgiewicz Evchenko, had centrifugal compressors and single-stage turbines. Fuel from a central tank was pumped through the rotor shaft, then centrifuged through internal tubes to each blade tip. Each rotor blade had a steel spar, wooden ribs, and plywood skin. Electrical systems ran through the spar. The engines initially used three counter-rotating flywheels to neutralize gyroscopic torque, but the power needed to spin them was too high. Once removed, full torque was transferred to the rotor system, requiring significant structural reinforcement. Despite being small, the V7 was highly complex. It was equipped with skid landing gear and hydraulic dampers to avoid ground resonance. A ring-type tubular oil radiator was installed around each engine's intake to manage thermal loads. The rotational inertia of its rotor system was five times greater than that of comparable conventional helicopters, allowing for unique maneuvers like vertical jumps with heavy payloads. Testing began in 1957 and continued on and off until 1965. The first tethered hover attempt took place on February 19, 1962, but the V-7 failed to lift off. Issues included negative blade twist under gyroscopic loads, deformation of blade skins, insufficient torque from the hydraulic booster, and excessive vibration. After redesigns, a successful tethered hover was achieved on September 20, 1965, with reduced rotor speed to avoid excessive torque. Flight performance was constrained. The engines operated under centrifugal loads up to 290 times the force of gravity, and optimal function occurred only at cruising speeds. On November 11, 1965, during a high revolutions per minute test performed outside the official program, both engines catastrophically failed almost simultaneously due to resonant vibrations in their compressors at takeoff revolutions per minute. The rotors remained intact and the helicopter landed safely, but the test program was immediately terminated. Although the V-7 never flew freely or entered production, it demonstrated several innovations. Its designers also discovered critical limitations in rotor-tip jet propulsion, especially related to engine weight, fuel consumption, up to 3% higher under centrifugal loads, oil overheating, and gyroscopic forces. Attempts to improve the concept with MD-3 engines, featuring internal gyroscopic balancing and lower cross-section, came too late. Ultimately, Mikhail Mill shifted focus back to multi-rotor helicopters with mechanical transmissions, which proved more practical for the time. The Mill V-7 remains the world's only rotorcraft to use pure turbojet propulsion at the blade tips, and a rare case where a project's failure delivered invaluable insights for future aerospace engineering.